Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. It's December, it's Is That Your Hair holiday. Welcome, come on in. I'm so excited because during Is That Your Hair holiday, I get to collab with some of my favorite creators. And today's video is very special because I am collaborating with my girl Brittany AKA the Hearts and Cake 90. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Britney already, but if you are not, maybe you've been under a rock. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe you're just new to wigs. Please go watch my girl's video, subscribe, show her so much love because that's the type of energy that she has put out to me and many others throughout the years. I've been watching Britney since 2015. Yeah, it's been like over six years, which is kind of crazy. And the one thing that stands out to me about Britney is her commitment, her dedication, her thoroughness, the level of detail in her reviews, and her dedication to her community. Brittany was one of the first people that I looked up to that started following me when I started my channel and I was so excited. And it's just nice that over the past almost three years now we've become friends. So Brittany, you know I love you. Thank you so much for joining me for another collab. I can't wait to see what 2022 has in store for you. It's gonna be popping. I don't think they're ready. I really don't. Also outside of wig reviews and tutorials, Brittany does vlogs and try on hauls and she's into home decor, lifestyle. So please go support her in those ventures. Tell her your girl sent you. If you're new coming from Brittany's channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Grab a snack, stay a little while. I really hope you enjoy what you see. So today is $20 Tuesday. $20 Tuesday is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute wigs for the lovely $20 price range and below. Can y'all believe this is the 70th episode of $20 Tuesday? Like, I literally cannot believe that. I'm so excited. <laughs> 70 episodes. Thank you all so much for rocking with me every Tuesday or every other Tuesday. I know I've gotten a little inconsistent with it, but I'm going to be back every single week for sure in 2022. So thank you for your patience this year. But yes. I'm excited and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to do half wigs today, right? But I'm going to have some of my hair out, which I have not done all year. And I'm a little bit nervous because this is the first time in a while where I'm not too sure where this is going to go. <laughs> so I hope y'all are along for the ride. I hope you have a glass of wine, a little snack, because I don't know, this video might take a turn. We'll see. <laughs> Also, if you see anything that you like, my description box is very organized, very detailed, so make sure you go there. And if there's anything missing, feel free to comment down below. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm on there all the time, and I like to get to know you all better through that platform, so make sure you check me out there. If you're curious about the hair that's on my head, this is Outre Nisha H301. This was one of my birthday wigs last year, so yes, I've had this wig for almost a year now. I've cut her since then because the, the ends were getting a little bit raggedy but she's still one of my favorites like at this point probably of all time <laughs> so if you're interested i'll leave a link and also the video where i reviewed her by the way the glasses are from zilu i love these glasses we're almost makeup free today i had to do my brows of course but i do have some lip gloss on no foundation though but as the video goes on I'll get a little bit more glam later. Oh, and this robe is so cozy. I love it. It's a towel robe. It's long, it's comfortable. I'll leave a link for that too. Now, before we get into the tutorial for today, I just wanted to quickly mention one of my favorite half wigs ever, Outre Nakaya. I actually repurchased her for this video, but do you know that UPS did not deliver her on time? But I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna still talk about her because she's popping. If you like wigs that are textured like this Nisha here, but you want something that's a little bit shorter, and if you like curls and whatnot, I definitely recommend Outre Nakaya. I wore that wig out and that's why I had to buy another one. But I'm telling you, she looks so freaking natural. And if you have type four hair, she's going to blend so well into your hair. Definitely cop that wig if you're looking for a new natural textured half wig. All right, so let's get into the wig for today. <laughs> I was scouring Amazon as I normally do, right? And I found this Afro wig. It's so beautiful, big and fluffy, and it's actually soft. One thing I remember from back in the day, some of the Afro wigs I've tried were always a little rough or even just textured hair in general. So I'm happy to see that this one is not. It feels like blown out type 
for hair. Like this is what my hair looks like when it's blown out a little bit. This is by the brand Kalis, K-L-Y-S-S. -S. I've seen that brand a lot on Amazon. But how does the Afro wig, but they have this girl on the cart. Anyway, what else? I want to do a style with this wig together with y'all. And I've been thinking about this all week, like how do I want to do this? So I decided I'm going to try blowing it out first and then we're just going to take it from there. <laughs> so let me show y'all what it looks just like straight on, okay? I'm going to take my Nisha off. And by the way, this right here is a Velcro band that I normally use to lay my front tools, but today I'm using it as a headband. It has Velcro, that's what I love about it. So if you need something to melt your lace, this is what you need. Go get it, for real. So we're gonna take Miss Nisha off. My hair is actually a little bit out in the front underneath because we're gonna we're gonna do leave out today. Also, while y'all are here, comment down below. And let me know what your holidays are looking like. Are you spending time with family? Are you going home or are you already home? Maybe the city that you're in is already home. Let me know where you guys are watching from. I'm located in the DMV area, but my original home is in New York City. So if you're from NYC, stand up. Let me know. All right, let's see what this looks like on just so y'all know it does have what does it have it has two combs here in the front and yeah just two combs so when i put this joint on oh this is a tight hold on wait a minute i got <laughs> okay i have a medium size head like 22.3 circumference but this thing is fitting kind of tight on me hold on okay that's better Okay! Wow! We're brothers, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five! <laughs> wow, this looks like natural hair, oh my god. They did such a good job with the texture on this. But this is a lot of hair, y'all. This is a lot of hair, so we need to figure out how we're gonna how we're gonna style this. Now it does come, look here y'all, it comes with like these natural baby hairs in the front, but they're like kinky. Y'all see that? Very interesting. So the first thing I wanna do is blow this unit out. And I'm going to use my Revlon blow dry brush. I talk about this brush all the time and this is a fan favorite. I know a lot of y'all have picked this up because of me and I like it because I'm able to use it on my textured wigs without sacrificing the texture, you know what I mean? Because synthetic textured wigs, if you try to flat iron it, it's gonna go straight and that's it, it's not reverting back. So if you want to kind of lessen the density of your textured wigs, but still keep that beautiful kinky straight texture, use this. I also love using this for my natural hair too. But the one thing I will tell you is that the heat only comes out from the top part of the brush. I don't know why they made it like that, but it still works for me. So I'm gonna start blowing this out and we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. All right, y'all, so I'm back with this Amazon Afro wig. I just blew it out with my Revlon blow dry brush. And as you can tell, I mean, uh, if you have type four hair, then you already know, like this looks exactly like our hair. What? <laughs> I'm floored like that. And this is only $22 on Amazon. But I know some of you are probably like, yo, this is a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair for me. It's like almost swallowing me up. But I think it's so beautiful. Natural kinky textures is just so regal. Oh my God. It literally looks like a crown is sitting atop my head. <laughs> I really, really love it. But we are gonna thin her out a bit before we move on to the next step. So I just wanted to show you what she looks like fresh out of a blowout. Okay, sound love below. If your hair looks like this after you blow out your hair, after a nice wash day, let me know in the comments. I swear, I complain about my wash day, but if I had this much hair, whoo, it would be a task, but it would be well worth it, I'm sure. Look at her. Okay, Amazon, okay. This is definitely giving me Shaka Khan vibes for sure. So, we're just gonna take my teacher says it's over here. Yes, I am a teacher. I've been teaching for like nine years. So I just be having random teacher things around the house. Now when it comes to cutting, right? And I've done tutorials on cutting several times. I have an entire playlist, my wig 101 playlist, which breaks down some of those tips and tricks for you. A lot of videos in that playlist. So definitely check it out when you have time. But basically, I can be a little haphazard with my cutting. 
cutting probably because I've been doing it for so long but as a beginner I definitely recommend just starting a little bit at a time so if you're gonna cut you're not gonna start right here like you're not gonna do that you're just gonna cut a little slip from the bottom you see what I'm saying now the great thing about kinky textures you can cut a little snip and then the length will still look the same so basically even if you feel like you made a mistake no one can tell sis so you may as well just have at it now when I'm diminishing the density of a wig I like to just go in between like I'll start at the halfway point separate it and I'll just start snipping away i don't really have any fear when it comes to this i know sometimes people would prefer to cut on a mannequin head which is fine but i just like to cut on my head like that's just what i am kind of used to at this point Whew. i'm just gonna start snipping away at certain sections and then just see what happens see it's as easy as that done don't make it a big deal you're not gonna mess up your wig there's so much hair in this wig anyway it still looks the same right now but after cutting for a minute it's not Alright, so just want to quickly check in. Can y'all see the difference between this side and this side? I'm starting to see a difference in the density. Yeah, it's looking a little less dense to me. So we're just gonna keep going. Now another thing I do like to do, I like to go in with a pair of hair shears. That also helps me thin out a wig. But when I have something this dense, I start with scissors. But yeah, that's how you use the shears. And then you pull out the hair. Because the hair is a kinky texture, it doesn't always pull out as easily, but it still comes out. Normally when I use the shears, I do one, two, three, and then remove the hair. Hair shears are great because they will lessen the density of the hair without necessarily taking away length. And I have an old video on this that I did with um, a sensational unit, so I'll make sure I link that in the description box so you can get a better idea. We are back with this $22 Amazon wig. Do y'all see me? This is stunning. Okay, like, <laughs> did we get this unit together or not? Let me know in the comments. Drop your comments. Let me know how you feel about this wig. Because according to me, there ain't no way you're going to tell me this is not my hair. Look at this. This is my natural hair right here, right here in the front, this is me, right? And this is the wig. Oh my God, I am floored. Honey, look, C and I gotta step out somewhere tonight because I refuse to stay in this house looking this good. <laughs> I'm impressed with this. Now mind you, it did take a lot of work to get here, but I'm happy with the result. Look at all the hair that I cut out of here. Like, this is a lot of hair and this joint is still full like it's still giving me like at least 180 200 percent density you know what i'm saying but I'm, I'm so pleased with this i really like the whole flip over action we got going on this is all all of this is my hair out in the front so you see me this is my hair here and the rest is the wig as far as what i did to my natural hair i wet it I use some of my shea butter, which I always use on my natural hair before I blow it out. It works really well for me. And shea butter also serves as a heat protectant. I also used another heat protectant by Garnier Fructis. Spray that on, blew it out, had my leave out ready, put the wig on, and literally just started blending like the pieces in. Like, look at that. Honestly, I think I blew out my natural hair a little bit straighter than the wig itself, but who cares? I think this looks great. So if you are one of those girls who loves rocking their natural type 4 hair, 
this unit is for you this is for you i actually have a content creator holiday party that i'm going to this week and i might have to show out with this little baddie right here oh i'm so excited Brittany, you see me Yo, this is a look. By the way, if you're interested in my makeup, my earrings that I also got from Amazon, these little line earrings, lipstick, all that will be linked in the description box. My description box is super detailed, so you should be able to navigate easily, shop easily through my affiliate links. And remember, if you shop through my links, you are directly supporting Is That Your Hair, which definitely means a lot to me. I have no complaints, y'all. This is $22. If you're willing to put in the work, go get it. Now, there is one thing I will say as far as the cutting process. When you are using the shears, do not close the shears all the way when you are snipping through. You only close it in a little bit because if you close it in all the way, you're going to get more hairs that come out, probably more than you want. So just, just want to give that little tip. When you're using shears, you're going to close it like this. You're not going to close it like this, okay? Okay, I mean... I think I said what I needed to say, y'all. This is this is popping. I feel like I'm giving like Queen Nefertiti realness. I'm feeling real regal right now with this natural hair. And I'm so happy that my real hair is blending nicely with this unit. Ideally, when I came into this video, I wanted to do a twist out as well, but the sun is going down, so I don't have time to do it. However, if you want to see me do a twist out on this, $22 synthetic wig, using my natural hair like with leave out, let me know in the comments and I'll do that video for you. If a lot of you want it, I will do it. Also, if you're a beginner to wigs or you just feel like learning something new, I recently put out this video called 7 Easy Wig Hacks, which all of you seem to really enjoy. So if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. I gave a lot of tips and tricks that will help your wigs look more realistic, more natural. Part of me was thinking about doing a part two to that video. If I should, let me know in the comments because I love helping and serving you all in this way and y'all give me great feedback on it. So let me know. Also, one more thing, make sure you use a wig grip. These wigs do have combs, but for me, prolonged comb usage definitely caused some thinning over here on the sides. You probably can't tell right now, but it's, it's there. So to avoid all that, use a wig grip. I recommend this one. I like this one because it has an adjustable strap here. You see that? And then, yeah, you put it on and you'll be good to go. So definitely grab a wig grip. I'll have my links down below. Also, if you're interested in another Afro textured wig, I definitely recommend Outre Electra Fro. I reviewed that wig a few months ago and it's divine. It's easily one of the best Afro wigs I have tried, period. I love that half wig. It looks so real. It's another wig that you can thin out to your liking, but either way, it, it's bomb. So definitely check that out. I'll, I'll leave my review and purchase link down below. Also, another wig that I recommend that's textured, it's like my tried and true wig. It's a twist out wig and it's by Vela Vela and it's called Bounce Bob. I adore that wig. <laughs> it's been holding me down since 2015. I bought the wig like four times. I remember one time I wore it like six months straight. It was like my everyday work wig at one point. It is a little bit dry, but it's only like $15 on most wig websites. If you want like a natural twist out look without having to do the twist out work, definitely look into Vela Vela Bounce Bob. Bob. So yes, y'all, I hope you appreciated this tutorial. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if this is a wig that you would pick up for the holiday season. I would love to hear about it. Also, please make sure you check out my girl Brittany and see what her $20 finds are. I cannot wait to see her slay these affordable wigs because, I mean, this is just what she does. She's just so good at it. So if you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Y'all, I'm so excited, but we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. The goal is to reach it before the end of the year, and it looks like we are going to reach that goal, so I am stoked. Also, can y'all believe that your girl has produced over 300 videos on YouTube? I'm floored by that. Like, I don't know how I was able to do that while working full time as a teacher, but I'm very proud of myself. And I just want to share that with you all. And I also just want to thank you all because y'all feedback has kept me going for over two and a half years. And we're about to reach my three year anniversary next month. There's just a lot to celebrate, a lot to be thankful for, a lot to be grateful for. I appreciate y'all so much. Now, if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining me for $20 Tuesday and for Is That Your Hair holiday. I will see y'all in the next video.
Let it snow. Let it snow.